Welcome everybody to additional Pylons Games. We're starting a new series for a quick little series here for Mandagon. Mandagon is a little indie platformer game that I found on Steam. It's free and uh, I thought I'd give it a try. It's been a while since I've done a platformer and uh, this one looked pretty interesting. So let's take a look at controls. Got WASD, E for action, jump, inventory, and pause. All right, well, let's get into it. No? All right, apparently it's not a cutscene. At first I thought this was, a <laughs> thought it was a cutscene. All right, space for jump. Looks like we can jump pretty high. Got some good lift for being a stone something, stone person, stone head. All right, so as I climb this tower, full uh, full disclosure, this this game, like I said, it's a little indie platformer game. It's based off of, uh, I guess, Tibetan philosophy and theology. That's what the description says. I honestly have no knowledge of Tibetan philosophy and theology, so I'm not certain how true that is. But um, I don't know. I think it was just interesting. No, can't go up top. Go into the house. And nothing here. All right, let's leave. And whiteness. Oh, okay, that's different. That's interesting. Thought maybe I could ring the gong. No. So, uh, jump over the water. Can I go up there? No. So, anyways, like I was saying. Ooh, what's this guy say? Okay. Okay. Alright. So, cryptic. Looks like we got a little elevator. Interesting. It's a very interesting aesthetic. Obviously, it's all pixel. Activating that did something. Can't go up there. Okay. Let's take a ride on the magic ladder. Okay. Nothing there. Huh. Yeah, I, I think it's an interesting aesthetic. It's very, you know, mountainy, obviously. We're talking Tibet here. So, the seeds you sow, the hearts you reap, can only flower from your sleep. Uh, we've got some images of what look like lungs over there. Light and dark alone can last. Through thirsty shadows, a sun must cast. Let's talk about darkness and light. Again, we've got some lungs. It looks like lungs up there. Going under water. Take a little swim. So yeah, uh, Tibetan philosophy, theology, which again I'm very ignorant of. Take a ride. And um, so if I say anything incidentally offensive, ooh, that was fun. Uh, if I say anything offensive, uh, it's definitely not intentional. Uh, I am just very much enjoying the experience and uh, appreciating it for what it is. So we got ourselves a little hut. Sputter cough and blooded breath. Sickness scuttles inside her chest. Okay. So we've got some pictures of lungs, some murals of lungs on the wall, and that sounds like maybe she's got pneumonia or something like that. Uh, and we are scaring birds left and right. <laughs> that might be the best part of this game. Uh, at least so far. I don't know if that has any... Uh, S significant spiritual meaning behind it, but it's fun. Ooh, fireplace and a uh, magic talisman of some sort. I also like that this is a very minimal, uh, the storytelling in this is very minimal. It's very, uh, explorative. Explorative? Explorative. 
So again, we've got some images of lungs and birds to scare. Okay, we've got a deactivated magic ladder. So let's just keep going up. So yes, oh boy. And this is probably a good time to admit that I am not only ignorant of Tibetan philosophy, theology, I'm also not, <laughs> dang it, not that good at platformers. Um, I, I honestly can't remember the last time. Well, okay, try that again. I can't remember the last time that, oh geez, good night. I can't remember the last time that I have actually played a platformer. This is, uh, I might have to cut this. <laughs> Okay, successful there. Hey, all right. Scare some birds. Get out of here. And another talisman. Different little house. Nope. Well, scared them away again. And you cannot squash the birds. I think that's important to know. <laughs> all right. Uh, yes, platformer skills are still lacking. This is rather precarious. Also, it's not attached to anything. Well, I take a look at that. I don't know, we've got an elevator, and this looks important. This looks very important. Uh, okay. So we've got a big gate looking thing. Some magic ladders. Quite the massive building. Some little shrines outside. Nothing to hop on though. My guess is that we're trying to get in there. Take a ride up the elevator. Jeez. Another elevator. Good night. You'd never catch me on one of those. Not knowledgeable about Tibetan philosophy, theology. Not that good at platformers and not a fan of heights. I am a fan of scary birds though. Okay, that looks important. Looks like we've got six or nine locks. And uh, take a look at this house right here. Another talisman. Nice. All right. Out we go. Let's take a look at what's over here. So this looks like a, a ruined sky village of some sort. Seems very peaceful though. some birds, make our way to the left, and fail to jump. Platformer skills, very low guys. One, two, three, oh. okay, and oh. nice, all right, getting the hang of it a little bit. Scary mass dude over there to the left. We can talk to him in just a minute. What is this? Flight. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. Just press it once. How far can we go? Pretty far, actually. Far enough. Get over. Yeah. Got another house up here. Take a look inside. And another talisman. Let's go back to the left. 
there, uh, there's more over there. There's that tower up there to the left. So let's explore that. Go flying again. And got it. No problem. Big jump. Alright. View map. Hey, that's nice. Okay, so we're at the very top left. We've got the big gate thing in the middle. And we've got purple gates bottom right, bottom left, middle right, top right. And uh, we're at the top left. So it gives us a nice layout. And then it looks like the houses are brown. So we haven't Okay, and we've got our inventory here so we can see which ones we have, which ones we don't, and which ones we've already filled in. Yeah. That's handy. Also, interesting that our guy changes shapes, I guess. Yes, I know it's right there. But see, our little, our little dude, our little character, he changed uh, into what looks like a tablet. Activate the magic ladder. Take a ride. And take a fall. It appears that there is no such thing as falling damage here. Which is good to know. Might have to test that theory a little bit more. Let's jump in there. Let's keep on hopping. So, the other thing about Mandagon is that it is a relatively short game. Um, also, the birds are so much fun to scare. <laughs> oh boy. Oof. Guys, that was close. Alright, let's read this. No need to linger, little totem. Heed the words we all have spoken. Okay, so that is basically saying, shut up and do as we tell you. Anyways, um, up the tower, time to fly again. Let's see how high we can go. Um, so yeah, Mandagon is a relatively short game. Uh, Steam reviews, that sort of thing, have said anywhere between like half hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour if you're really slow, if you take your time with it. Um, which I'm cool with. For starters, it's free, so. Um, and second, it's got birds to scare. Um, But it's, uh, I'm cool with short games. As long as they're up front that it's a short game, right? Hey! Tablet number two. Let's see what happens. Alright, second lock is open. And we turn back into our little tablet man. Alright, so we've got two. It looks like we have that third one, that middle one in our inventory, but it's not going in. Like we already visited there. So that's weird. We'll have to check that out. Anyways, that's uh that's Mandagon. And uh yeah. So I think that we'll wrap it up here take a quick look at the map. So we're at the top right, so we, the top right and the middle are both white. The gates are white, so I think that means that we've filled them in. The top left is blue, which means I'm guessing we have the tablet. And then the other three are purple, which means we gotta do some exploring down on the lower levels. So, that's the first episode of Mandagon here on Additional Pylons Games. Hit like and subscribe if you want to see more. Check out some of the other series going on, on the channel. Leave a comment below if you have any tips, any suggestions, if there's anything that I need to know about Tibetan philosophy or theology. So. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time here on Additional Pilots Games.